I'm going to show you how to do muzzle flashes, blood splatters, and how to vanish on iMovie. All you need is to go to this website called Footage Crate, download a blood splatter, um, and, or a blood hit, and a muzzle flash, and you're on your way. So, let's get in this. All you want to do is you want to create a new movie. Just do this, um, select what theme, but I'm pretty sure you want to go with no theme. theme. You want to create, um, just call it test. I don't care. Okay. Now, once you have this done, you're going to drag your footage. So, if this is your footage right here, you're going to want to take it right when you have it. And... Take it to where you want it to stop. So, if I want it to stop there, I'm going to drag it down here. And I'm going to have it. Now... After that, you're going to have to run through it, so just let it play through. Boom. So, you're going to see, you're going to scroll through, and right, say right, right there. Right there is when you want it. You're going to go up to your muzzle flash, you're going to double click, drag it down to right here. Boom. Now you have it here. You may have a problem where these are over to the side, but I don't think that should happen to you. Um, and now, if you have it like this where you can't move it, all you need to do is have it selected. Go into this and go to Picture and Picture. Then, once you have that, you have the freedom to move it around. But, this is going to happen to you. So, you're going to have to move that. You're going to have to make it stop right there. And then, you're going to bring your muzzle flash right here and then once you have that you're done with the muzzle flash then if you want the sound you need to download um a gunfire sound i don't know i can't remember where i got it line it up with it and then when you play it through it should sound like this that is how it should sound now once you have it like that find where you're I don't know what you have. Find where you have your, um, where you have your other scene for the blood hit, right here. Boom. It happens right here. So I need to stop and keep it there. You want to go back to where you had your blood hit. You want to double click it and bring it back to right here. You could add a noise if you want. Then same thing. Picture and picture. If it stays right there, you got to keep it there. Then you're going to drag it to right there. And then you put it right where you want to. Make it size it however you want. Doesn't really matter. I want it to stay right here. Then you just do this. Play through. Yeah, now. The good thing is, uh, how to how making yourself vanish is pretty easy. So all you need is this right here. Now, as you can see, I can't vanish myself. So what you need to do is go to transitions, click on cross dissolve, and bring it right here. Once you have that, shoot a scene. Do not move your camera, laptop, or whatever. Do not move it at all whatsoever or the effect won't work then you want to go to the scene and put it right here you can use the scene and the uh, transitions as um editing tools so this is what it should look like and boom you have it right there um and of course you're probably going to want to edit this down to about 9 seconds or something. And then be like that. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, so yeah, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out.